night that was super cool just checked out the new balance booth lots of really interesting stuff coming for next year really excited to try out some of that stuff ran into pretty much everybody in like the first five minutes of me getting in here so i know it's going to be a great day let's look at some more shoes sketchers didn't want me to take any pictures so nothing from sketchers today That was the booth at Solomon. Some interesting options there, actually. There's more interesting stuff there than I was expecting. I'm not always a huge Solomon fan. Sometimes the fit is not exactly what I'm looking for in a shoe, but some promising things. Just leaving the Ultra booth. Looks like a lot of interesting updates for next year. It's gonna be a good year. big cat energy for next year. I'm very curious to get those on my feet. interest in the craft booth it's hard to get around in there it's so busy i don't know if there's just a lot of people in there or a small booth or i think a combination of both First up, Nimbus 24. This is kind of our max cushion, super luxurious, bouncy hero. So really excited this gets a full-blown overhaul for a January intro here. So underfoot, you've got a brand new technology from us called Flight Foam Blast Plus. It takes all the benefits of Flight Foam Blast, but gets them in a lighter, bouncier package. So really kind of pushing that foam story forward. Due to that change underfoot, you get the lightest Nimbus ever. So bringing this in right around 10.1 ounces for a men's size nine. So really kind of pushing weight forward, losing over a half an ounce and really bringing a luxurious ride, but a very runnable, lightweight, maximum cushion shoe. Up top, you've got an engineered upper, super clean feel, super luxurious fit to it, and then a full knit tongue. Jumping from there to the Cumulus 24. So this comes in May of 2022, so a little ways off here, but this is kind of our go-to daily neutral trainer. This gets the Flight Foam Blast treatment underfoot, so really taking that Cumulus experience and for the first time giving it that bounce of blast, a new geometry underfoot, deliver a truly new, fresh, bouncy experience. And then last in the line in terms of new intros, and really kind of the most exciting shoe from a color and energy story is the Noosa. So this came back here in the US just about a year ago as the Noosa Tri-13 and kind of like reset 
ASICs as a leader in color once again. And we're gonna continue that story in Noosa 14 here. So from a color standpoint, you'll see all wild, no mild. Underfoot, we've got our guide sole tech, so this rockered curvature uh, built to kind of drive efficiency through the foot strike, give you a really poppy, propulsive, energetic feel underfoot. It's got a pretty straight lasted wide platform, so it's versatile, a lot of people can wear it, all focused on comfort. From an upper standpoint, it's built to be worn sockless as it's inspired by triathlons. So seamless internally, super soft materials, a gusseted lay down tongue, and then this cool lean back heel collar. Just easy on off if you are a triathlete, want to go with this. If you're an everyday runner, just additional comfort detailing under flight. Now, if someone has tried the Evo Ride or the Magic Speed, how would they differentiate those two shoes from the Noosa? Yeah, so actually underfoot, Noosa and Evo Ride are essentially the same from a midsole foam and shaping standpoint. Your differences come in terms of upper fit. You get a little more lockdown, a little more kind of performance oriented experience to the Noosa. And then flipping over to the Magic Speed, Magic delivers a carbon plate and blast foam. So it's a little more race ready. It's also a little more kind of carved down through the midfoot and gauged down focus a little more on propulsive, lightweight, uh, but having that snap of carbon, where this has a little more gentle roll um, underfoot. Okay, and you mentioned one more question. You mentioned earlier that the, was it the Cumulus? Yes. No, the Nimbus. It was gonna have Flight Foam Blast Plus. Is there a difference? Because sometimes I hear FF Blast, sometimes I hear Flight Foam Blast Plus. What are the differences between those different, like slight differences in nomenclature. Yeah, so we're excited in 2022 to have uh, Blast as a united foam story across mm -hmm. all our performance run product. At the top of that is Flight Foam Blast Turbo, okay. which is this nylon base blend focused on propulsion in a lightweight package. Kind of in the middle tier is Blast Plus, which is ultimate bounce and softness in a lightweight package. And then Blast, which debuted in the Nova Blast, is now kind of our go-to foam across our kind of core legend what we call legend product and this is all about bounce in not quite as light of a package so great bounce bounce lighter weight with blast plus and then turbo is all about race day great is there a difference if it's being called flight foam or ff is that no nope. ff difference? is just a like condensed way of printing okay. it on product and things great. like that perfect that makes yeah. a lot of sense thank you very much yeah thank you Just finished up with ASICs. Very excited to see what they've got coming for 2022. They've got a lot of surprises. More than just we showed today. That's all I could show today. There's a lot more coming. It's gonna be great. Now let's find some food. I'm really hungry. So far away. guys just finished lunch now I'm sleepy and a little bit chilly and a little bit low energy so I gotta get pumped back up hit this floor again there's lots of fun stuff still here that I haven't checked out yet well, let's go check it out yo look who we found at oh the... we back at it yeah. man you know we we're in the convention center they said mask up mask off I said no I'm gonna mask up because I'm gonna get kicked out again like last time no yeah, you gotta have a mask on for quality content. Quality content requires masks. <laughs> um, so what have you found so far that you enjoy? Uh, I enjoyed the craft booth. I got excited about the Reebok booth. Actually had some surprises for me in there, but I wasn't expecting that. New Balance, they're going wild for next year. Can't wait. Asics. Maga. That's right. They brought a trailer. I already saw the trailer. They had it in Chicago, but that Chicago trailer that they brought, they brought it here too. And then I still have to go see Saucony, Hoka. Listen, listen. You know too much yeah. shoe stuff. Yeah. You see right there? Yeah. Untapped. That company 
makes like the best like maple syrup flavored things yeah. like juice and caffeinated stuff they have they have ice cream it is so good it makes you want to slap your mama now i wouldn't slap your mama yeah. but it's so good you would consider it <laughs> we'll go over there and try that let's go do that i haven't got it i haven't got any ice cream yet let's well, go last time they had ice cream so i'm yeah. not sure if they have ice cream they, they do but there's like a long line so like oh yeah, man it's real long. that's the ice cream line that's the ice cream i think it's ice cream it's getting longer now yeah, look at, too look at the line. yeah people want the ice cream you know what I ain't gonna lie. It's good, but it's not like that good. <laughs> like, we, 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 could, go, we could do this, though. We can go over to Amy's ice cream, get some ice cream. How about this? What is this? I don't want no maple juice. You just said that they make good juice. Yeah, but I don't want, I want the ice cream. Okay, well, I'm gonna have ginger maple aid. And. Let me try it. Keep the mask on. Tastes like medicine. All right, let me try this one. Which one did you try? You tried the maple maid? I tried the other one. Oh, that's okay. I got, I got the same one. All right, let's yeah. go. Oh! Oh! <coughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Bro. It tastes like medicine. It's the ginger. Well, tastes like medicine. I'm pouring the rest of this out, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, the, the, the other one. The other one. Do the other one. All right, the other one. All right, this is, all right, this is the other one. Alright. I'm going first? Yeah, you go first. Pick these up. It's not as bad, but it ain't much better. It's lemony. Yeah, but this? This is different. I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna fuel your entire day. Thank you, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thanks for being here, guys. How are you gonna take your mask down? Oh, man. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> oh, 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 it hit different. <laughs> Ooh, that maple though. You ain't feeling it? Good. It's, it's good. It's good. Good. Mm -hmm. It's mean, real good. Yeah. Let's go hey, see shout it. to uh, Young Noah. Uh, Noah's channel. We were just on his channel. Yeah, you should find it and like look down below. Give him a shout out. Yeah, we were just got uh, interviewed by Noah. Not interviewed, but we ran into Noah. We said hi. We're, I think we're on his channel. We gotta find that video. I'll put a link to it down below if I find it. Also, I got this free hair tie from Colleen Quigley. She gave it to me personally, pretty much. Pretty much. Good to see you. Good, good, good. What have yeah. you been seeing? Everything. Cool. Everything. This wow. is exciting. This hey, is do exciting. you know do you know Jamie? What's up, Jamie? How's it going? Man? Listen, man. How's it going, man? A lot of construction. We're chilling. We yeah. vibing. We just got some ice cream. Did you get the ice cream? I didn't get ice cream. Now. Was it vegan? What are you doing? Oh, it's not vegan. That's right. You're vegan? Yeah. Is, is, is syrup vegan? Syrup? Syrup is, syrup is, but not the ice cream. It's not? Ice cream is milk. milk. Is milk in this? Just finished up at the Saucony booth. That endorphin pro looks insane. 
the speed looks so different the shift looks wild i don't even know if i want to try that one it looks intimidating for real i'm not sure about that one but it's going to be a crazy year for soccer Sure, I'll find him. He's got a really bright jacket on. He's got to be around here somewhere. And then checked out a couple more boots. But I think I pretty much see all like the main things that I wanted to see today. So I still have some time till I'm gonna go head over to the Hoka booth. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep wandering, see what else I can find. Just ran into hella good. That was awesome. He's got a whole team of people around with him. Definitely gonna need to get together with him sometime to go for a run or do some sort of, we gotta do some sort of content. Uh, I go, I didn't know he was from New Jersey. I thought he was from New York. I thought he was on Long Island for some reason. But he's in New Jersey. That's where my parents are in the same county. So definitely plenty of opportunities will be there. He also likes to come to Chicago. so. We'll make it happen. All right, now I'm really just losing steam. I'm trying to go visit as many things as possible because tomorrow I'm gonna regret not going to see as many things as possible. So I'm gonna keep moving, keep it going. Let's see what else we can find. found Tommy he wasn't that happy that we got separated he told he said I left him which may have been true I have a short attention span sometimes but he's gonna go and interview Meb Kofleski which is super awesome so he's gonna do that you're gonna have to check out the run show to get that interview and uh, we're all right GoPro died so I'm gonna put you on the big camera for a second we got 40 minutes till I'm gonna go over to the Hoka booth so I'm gonna rally find some more stuff to check out and then we'll head over to the Hoka booth. You guys know I normally don't love colors, but I love everything that Cotopaxi makes. It just looks so good.
that was super cool. Just ran into Mrs. Space Cadet. I don't know if you guys are on TikTok or not, but she is huge on TikTok. I've been following her for basically the entire time that I've been TikTok for like the last maybe month and a half or so. So it was really cool to run into her today. Uh, she's got like millions of followers on TikTok. And somehow she has followed me back and is familiar with some of the stuff that I've been putting on TikTok. So that was really flattering. And I got to talk to her coach as well. Her coach is also shooting for a sub three marathon, not at CIM this weekend, but soon. So like we talked a lot about that. So it was really good to just run into them and talk to them. Now I got to switch shoes because I'm going to a Hoka booth and I'm wearing Asics right now. So I'm gonna switch shoes real quick and we'll head over to Hoka, it's right over there. Yo! What's up? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Good, good, good. You know, I want to take this shoes because I got it in black and white. Yeah. yeah. I think the black and white ones look really clean, though. Yeah. We could try. What's your size? <laughs> What's your size? I wear size 10. What do you want? I'm a 9. Ah, uh, so I'm not even excuse my shoes. <laughs> it <laughs> might be worth it. Yeah, yeah I'll send them to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. good to see you, man. Yeah, take care, man. This yeah. guy legend. I'm so happy that we ran into each other in New York. Yeah. I promise you guys will come around. Very nice, genuine guys the energy is unreal and I, I wish you nothing but the best ah, same same. i love your content i think yeah. he's the og if you see anyone running around with the gopro on the legs think about <laughs> supposedly because yeah. i've never seen anyone that does it like he does yeah it's another point of view which is cool awesome, awesome. yeah that's really cool good to see you all right take Be care safe. Safe. This is a brand new shoe for Hoka, um, and we're really excited to have it launch on January 15th. Um, so the Kiwana is a member of the Glide Collection, like the Bondi 7. Um, and what you're going to get with a shoe from the Glide Collection is a really, really plush step and feel, a lot of cushion, really great heel to toe transition, just smooth, awesome ride. Um, I'm going to use the Bondi as a really good point of reference since it's such a popular shoe for us. This is <laughs> um, but <laughs> these guys are everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's get into the technology. Let's start at the bottom. Um, the big story in the shoe um, is its foam. It is a brand new foam for Hoka. Um, it's our softest and lightest weight foam to date. We love. In terms of midsole construction, we have a um, super early stage meta rocker, and you can see how far back it extends here. Um, really extended crash pad with that swallow tail, which we see here, which helps for some lateral stability. Stole that from the Mach 4. Um, and this meta rocker and all of this technology just make for a really smooth, really lovely stride. Working our way up, we have a really lightweight, um, breathable jacquard mesh, which incorporates some nice recycled materials, and it really creates a nice um, mid-foot hold there that's really comfortable as well. And then in the heel, we have this memory foam little bit here, and what that does is it really secures the heel in place, but it kind of hugs the Achilles for a really comfortable sensation as well. The Kiwana will launch on January 15th, and it retail for 140. For a little background on the Carbon X, this is a hyper propulsive, hyper cushioned shoe. It's really developed for folks who want um, the speed and propulsion of a carbon fiber plate, uh, but don't want to compromise on the cushion either. Um, so, there are a couple key updates. Obviously, visually, it's a very different shoe than previous iterations, um, but the magic is really in the midsole. We have a brand new foam for Hoka. You'll hear us say that a lot today. It's a lot going into our foam this show. But it's our most propulsive and our lightest weight foam to date, um, and it really shows. This shoe is um, almost a full ounce lighter. Moving up into the other key update for the shoe is really the upper. It's a totally new uh, knit mesh upper. Um, it really conforms the shape of your foot, um, but not in a restrictive way. It just really hugs it. It's very secure, but it's also soft and comfortable um, and easy to get in. It's really sock-like up in the tongue here, um, very stretchy, and then this really helps lock you in as well. Um, and it has that kind of memory foam material uh, as well. We're super excited. This is going to launch April 1st, um, retails for 200 
before we get into the shoe, um, I think it's helpful to give a little bit of insight on the Mock family and the development of those products. So the Mock originally launched in spring of 2018 um, as a really snappy, light, responsive shoe for, for race day. Um, and it was Hoka's kind of first time venturing into that like fast, snappy kind of shoe development. Um, and it fell a little bit flat, right? It was it was new for the Hoka consumer. Um, and the second iteration definitely improved upon that. The third did as well, but the fourth really nailed it. That launched just this last year. People love that shoe. It won Gear of the Year for Runners World, like Gear of the Year at Outside Magazine, like Editor's Choices left and right. Like people were in love with that shoe. There was a ton, a ton going on there. And so with the development of this shoe, which we'll show today, the Mach Supersonic, we wanted to take all of those design cues from the Mach 4 um, and make it even more fun. So this shoe is the Mach Supersonic, um, and it has basically all of the same design features of the Mach 4, but with a brand new foam. Uh, this is actually the same foam that we just discussed in the uh, Carbon X3, most propulsive, lightest weight foam from Hoka to date. So what this will be is like a really awesome like sibling shoe to the Mach 4. Both will remain in the line. Okay. Um, but the Mach Supersonic is going to be a, a more propulsive, faster experience um, for that running consumer. Um, everything else is going to be practically the same as the Mach 4, um, with the exception of our little heel pull tab. Yeah, that's um, a robust pull tab. In. People love it. People love this <laughs> thing. Um, and the shoe actually weighs only 0.1 ounce more okay. than uh, the Mach 4, and yeah. I think that's literally just the pull tab. Yeah. Okay. So we'll take it. Yeah. This launches in March, March 15th, Okay. and it will retail for 150 Nice. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. This is the Speed Goat 5. This guy launches in March, uh, and we're super excited. Um, the Speed Goat is our top selling trail running shoe, um, and it's for a good reason. It's a great product um, for people who want cushion, traction, um, comfortable ride for really any kind of trail, whether it's, you know, buffed out single track or super technical, um, you know, ascent, it's great. So with the Spigo 5, um, Hoka really took a lot of feedback across the market and kind of figured out what people loved about the Speed Goat 4, but also what people loved about a shoe called the Speed Goat Evo. And the Speed Goat Evo is a shoe that um, was developed for our athletes and for kind of race day pace. Um, Jim Walmsley, for instance, wore it on uh, Western States. It's very popular for that reason. Um, and kind of took learnings from that shoe as well as the Speed Goat 4 and created the Speed Goat 5, which is kind of a perfect blend of those two things. The Speed Goat 5 um, has a Speed Goat Evo like foam, so super, super light, really soft, really like nice underfoot feel, um, and a totally stripped down upper. The traction is a huge update as well. So we again partner with Vibram. Um, this is their mega grip. Um, traction lugs and so what that means is these I don't know if you can see all of these little divots in the lugs but what that does is it increases the surface area of each lug and actually helps increase grip pretty significantly uh, in testing we learned that they are 20% grippier than previous iterations which we love um, so you know whether the trail is wet or rocky or muddy or whatever this it'll, it'll have you covered it has that dynamic vamp, let that foot spread out. It's got a really, really nice cushioned, I don't know if you can feel, but it's really plush um, heel collar um, to really lock your foot into place. And again, that lay flat gusseted tongue. I interviewed Jim like after winning Western States. Oh yeah, yeah. And he said that he had been testing a new carbon plated shoe that I can't talk about. That would have been this one. I think if you take anything away from Hoka at this show, this is probably the biggest story. Um, this is the Tecton X. Um, it's Hoka's very first carbon plated trail running shoe. Okay. This will be uh, available in May and it's going to retail for $200. Um, there's a ton of innovation that went into this product. I think a lot of brands are using carbon plates more and more on trails and in roads. Mm -hmm. um, and Hoka takes a distinctly Hoka approach to that development process, um, but it's also very unique from what else is on the market. So um, the carbon plate typically is like one sheet, right? Like one sheet of carbon plate that helps propel, propel you forward. Hoka takes a different approach. We have two plates running laterally next to each other on either side of the shoe, um, and they are independent of each other. And so what that allows is, you know, when you're on trails, it allows a lot more um, lateral dynamic movements so that you can, you know, interact with the rocks and roots and whatever you're hitting without getting shot off to the left or right in the case of just a, a single sheet. 
and then that carbon plate is um, sandwiched between two dual density foams um, and it's called Hocus Profly Plus foam um, where on the top on top of the carbon plate you have a really soft really lovely cushioned foam for a really comfortable step and feel and then underneath the carbon plate we have a more responsive foam uh, I think the outsole is interesting too we partner with Vibram they make an incredible product um, and we use their light based technology here which is a super lightweight um, but still super grippy foam that's also um, has a sustainability feature as well combine that with some four millimeter lugs and this will really have great traction wherever you go so is this going to be more like i mean it looks to me like a torrent but it sounds yeah. more like a zanal so like where yeah. does it kind of fit in terms of like how should people yeah. be thinking about this shoe and when to use it no totally so i think i think when i think of the zanal i think the zanal is a great product for like a, a trail half marathon mm -hmm. at a fast pace right? right it is a snappy light shoe um but shorter distance when you really mm -hmm. get in the trail um i think it's closer to the torrent in terms of how much cushion it provides okay. but it's going to provide the same kind of speed that the zanal might as a result of having okay. that carbon plate so it's really for or, um, you know, a faster paced run, but for someone who wants more of a cushioned product. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the upper is also really, really nice and like soft too. It's this jacquard mesh, which we are kind of incorporating in a lot of our shoes. Um, but it's more durable, it's super breathable and lightweight. Um, and just like personally, like I trail run in Colorado a lot and I think this will drain water, like with a river, river crossing or maybe it's really hot and sweaty, like this will drain really well um, for something like that. Uh -huh. Which is great. We also have um, what's called dynamic vamp. So during a trail race or a long trail run, your toes are gonna start to spread out, you're gonna get some foot swelling. Um, and so we have kind of a wider toe box to allow for that natural um, movement in the foot. We also have the super nice lay flat gusseted tongue. So it's like really comfortable on the end step. And then this um, heel collar just make, really locks your foot in um, for secure ride. Is there gonna be an update to the Evo Speed Goat? So the uh, Spiegel Evo is actually going away. Um, okay. Yeah, so because we think that like the this shoe... The product lines are emerging, is that what's Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like this shoe is really going to answer all of the needs that the Speedgo Evo was um, mm -hmm. kind of fulfilling. Okay. Um, and then I, we think that Speedgo 4 users will love this as well, obviously, because it, okay. it, it incorporates a lot of those uh, design cues as well. Cool. It's going to be a nice mix of both. finished up at Hoka and then ran into Goku Runner. I don't know if you guys are subscribed to him, but I've been watching him for a couple of years. Hey, what's going on guys? How's it going? I've been following Goku Runner for a couple of years now. Check out his channel. And then I also did a quick interview, mini interview, just a sound bite for Running Warehouse. So check out their channel. I'm sure that's going to be up any minute now. Ah, I am tired. I feel like I don't think I've seen everything, but I've seen a lot. And I gotta get out of here, I think. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel, get ready. There's an after party that I'm gonna go to, but I gotta get some dinner first. And I think I'm gonna meet up with the Believe in the Run crew for that. So let's get some food. Yeah, so far so good. It's tasty. Nice, it's not like as them. dense as I thought it was gonna they be. They sit so light too, like they, for a decent amount of time because it's a complex enough carbohydrate, but it's not really heavy. Mm. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, for sure. I'll eat these on the airplane. Yeah.
Oh, all right guys, made it back for the evening. It is really late for me, it's 10.50, which is way later than I normally stay out, but uh, had fun meeting up with the Believer in the Run team, had some dinner with them, uh, and then after dinner, uh, some of us headed over to the Saucony party uh, that they were throwing, and it was super cool. I don't have any footage from the party because uh, I usually just don't like to shoot video at night because shooting video at night is difficult number one from a lighting perspective but also that's when people are kind of like relaxing and stuff and kind of just they're kind of they're still on the clock i think because everyone's kind of here for work but people are like off the clock really so i don't really want to be videotaping people or like putting a camera in their face so i just kind of relaxed and you know talk shop that kind of thing which i think that's kind of the big point of this kind of event for a lot of people is you know you're grinding away doing your everyday thing and then every once in a while you get together meet with people let off some steam and kind of like complain about the same things that we all kind of go through um and you know have fun and enjoy the things that you know we all kind of in, enjoy similarly so it was just nice to be able to connect uh in that way so overall a really great evening and a great way to cap a day that was super full and fun filled like it's hard to imagine that like that event on the track earlier today was just today because so much seems to have happened since then it's been a blur of a day i gotta get this video edited now i gotta go to bed because tomorrow there's gonna be more stuff we're gonna be doing the shakeout run with believe in the run and puma and then also doing a podcast i won't be doing it i'll be going to a podcast in the afternoon as well and then i gotta travel to california so another big day tomorrow stay tuned it's gonna be a lot of fun but for now thanks for making it all the way to the end of this video and hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs i'll see you guys in the next one yo what's going on